Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. The Misk Expanse is now on sale, at least to concierge backers. It will go on sale to everyone from the 14th of April. The ship is an entry-level refinery ship suitable for a single person to run. Let's see what Cloud Imperium have to say about their ship. Upgrade your mining operation. Introducing the Misk Expanse, the single crew vessel at the heart of both large and small-scale refining operations across the Empire. The Expanse's self-contained refinery system makes it the industry standard for accessible vehicular-based mineral processing, specifically designed to operate in tandem with mining vehicles like the Misk Prospector. The Expanse enhances any serious mining operation by transforming raw mineral pods into saleable material on the fly. So the ship is in concept sale, so it's not going to be available in-game anytime soon. We don't know where it sits on the roadmap at the moment, so it's going to be a while. You will get a Misk Prospector as a loner ship if you purchase one of these uh, until the ship's ready, though Admittedly, sometimes Cloud Imperium do change loner ships as they add more ships into the game. They go, well, th actually, this ship is more appropriate as a loner ship, but it's almost certainly going to be the Prospector for the foreseeable future. The ship is available from $135 war bond with lifetime insurance and a Stardust skin. That means you're not using any store credit. You're using new money to buy. Um, you can also purchase it for $150 if using any store credit. It's actually pretty cheap as far as Star Citizen ships go. The the Stardust skin is also available for the ship separately as well if you wish to purchase that. The Expanse integrates seamlessly with all leading contemporary mineral extraction systems, supporting the UEE standard mineral storage pods used throughout the Empire. The Expanse efficiently ingresses raw ore, refines it, and distributes saleable material into empty cargo containers. Assumedly, these are the same cargo containers that the Prospector has, and they sort of expand in size and are detachable. You can leave them behind for, you know, in the future, maybe a cargo ship to take, or maybe you just take the prospectors saddlebags bam you chuck them on your ship and then take them um, to a station to sell while you're refining them integrated tractor beams ensure receiving raw materials and distributing processed ore are entirely hands-off procedures take on full pods from mining vessels with ease and run entire operations from the comfort of of your cockpit. So it does sound like the rear tractor beam is available for you to use from the cockpit. That sort of makes sense. The heart of the expanse is its onboard refineries. This fully integrated self-sufficient system processes raw ore from external mineral pods into a refined saleable material, which it then distributes into empty containers waiting in the pod base. Cargo containers full of refined ore are easily off-boarded thanks to the foolproof design of the pod bay and tractor beams, unload significant volumes of ore for huge profit, and move to the next job in no time. That is the sales pitch for the ship. That is what they're going for. That's its sort of focus and its plans for how it's going to operate in a gameplay loop. It's going to work with the prospector. You're going to be able to refine those goods. You're going to be able to take them to a station. Bam! Or you're able to offload them to another cargo ship and then they take them and you can run a big old mining operation. The ship is 35.5 meters by 10.75 meters by 21.1 meters in size. This is very accurate for a concept ship. Maybe it will change slightly in size, but Clown Imperium are getting really good at actually building these from concept uh, all the way through the pipeline and being pretty accurate with the sizes now. Apparently very accurate with them. This puts the ship around the same size. It's a little bit smaller than an Argo raft. It's quite a bit bigger than a prospector. It's a ship of respectable size. It has those six refinery reactors that can all run separate processes or focus on the same task when you're talking about refining goods and materials. And um, you'll have a choice there. The pilot seat has access to two size one weapons for some limited protection. It's not going to be able to fight off a horde of uh, pirates or whatever. It's quite a big ship and um, it's going to be able to be quite easily hit. It's not got great defense. Sort of bear that in mind. The ship will be able to pick up saddlebags, containers and refinables with its rear mounted size one tractor beam. And it sounds like you have access to that from the cockpit. It can carry eight cargo containers of eight SCU each for a total of 64 SCU capacity. 
But as I said, it appears to be the same saddlebags that the prospector uses, and it should be able to detach those freely. The ship is currently listed as having two size two power plants, so that's medium power plants, and the rest of them are uh, small or size one components, a single size one shield, two size one coolers. To enter the ship, you've got an access ramp at the front, uh, which will open up. This allows you to enter the ship, but it only really leads to a small elevator allowing you to get up to the top of the ship where the cockpit and the rest of the area that you're going to want to be using is. So you have the cockpit, but then you also have a small little living area towards the middle of the ship with bed and storage, and I would also assume some form of toiletry facilities. Towards the rear of the ship, you've got an operations room that allows you to interface with all the refinery and cargo tools as well. I'm really loving the idea of the gameplay loop having miners and refiners, sort of like these mobile refining ships, helping with those mining operations. I'm a big industrial player, this is the sort of gameplay that I want in the game. Exactly what the Misk Expanse can refine, we don't 100% know yet. Will there be some ores that it can't tackle, whether you have to have a, a better uh, or different sort of ship for that? Or will it be able to do Quantanium refining? We're sort of going to have to wait and see. But if you're wanting to use the Mole or the Prospector or a load of them in a mining operation, then I think these are going to be invaluable. How useful are they going to be if you've got a load of Orions moving around mining? We don't know. It feels to me like the Orion is on a totally different scale of mining ship. And I don't think that the uh, Expanse here is going to be useful uh, to the Orions in this situation. I love the idea of four or five prospectors going out and then a couple of these expanses helping them refine materials then a, a big old cargo ship maybe just a hull c comes along and takes the refined ore away bam and maybe drops off some uh, sort of saddle bags for the ships to replenish their saddle bag supply you could keep that going for hours now there might be problems with pirates turning up you'll have to think about escorts or um, distress beacons that sort of stuff but mining and refining continues to get much more of a expanded gameplay loop and I'm looking forward to them bringing the ship into the game. Anyway, what do you think? Are you going to be purchasing a Misk Expanse? And whether that be in-game or is that going to be with real money during the sale? Are you in a big old mining guild? You know, like, yeah, we're going to get loads of them. Or are you a pirate guild and going, yeah, I want these to be in-game so I can eat them, nom nom nom, or at least threaten them. Do you think the price of from $135 is a reasonable one or is that far too expensive? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I was feeling tired and sluggish. I found out that I was allergic to adverts and malware in 2022, which means I can't use the internet if only there was a service that could help. Wait! There is NordVPN.com slash BoardGamer. It's NordVPN that I use, and it blasts away a load of my advert and malware-based concerns while allowing me to freely explore the internet. Maybe I want to be in the USA today and pretend that I'm an American. W what's this? Now I'm down under in the Australias? Wait, now I'm in the UK. Okay, I, I live there. That is less impressive. NordVPN has done so much for me. Sign up with the links below or go to NordVPN.com slash BoardGamer. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For April 2022, we're giving away an Origin 400i. It's a luxury exploration and touring ship, which will be great for a small crew wishing to explore the stars or try out a multitude of other gameplay. It's like a little yacht in space, a little piece of luxury. All you need to do to be in for a chance to win that is comment on any of my videos made during April 2022. More details in the description below. If you wish to further support the channel, consider clicking the join button under my videos to become a channel member or even become a Patreon. That goes a massive way in helping with our day-to-day -day videos and gives you a variety of little exclusives as well. But it should just make you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Join today! Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if so inclined and I'll see you in the verse.